Evening, y'all. It's uh, Thursday. And uh, it's been uh, almost a week since the uh, protests and then the riots have begun. And I wanted to chat with you all about this. Um, cause I want to chat with you because I found what I have found myself, discovered what I found myself getting caught up in. You know, after all the time we're locked down, locked down from the COVID-19 and then here we are getting ready to break loose and suddenly a, uh, a gentleman is, uh, is wrongfully killed by law enforcement officers. And next thing you know, the media is jumping on that and people go to protest and which by all means we have every constitutional right to peacefully protest. It's in the Bill of Rights. It's in the, it's in the Constitution. You know, <clears throat> falls right shortly thereafter where it says, "We the people." Um, and then it all seemed to went south real quick. So I want to jump back a little bit because I found, I found myself over this past week. Um, and I'm a slight bit of hothead. What do you want? I'm, I'm, I'm Germanic and Celt. Of course I'm going to be a hothead. Um, but I found myself jumping on all those posts and Facebook and sharing four tons of stuff from, from YouTube and getting angrier and angrier and angrier and madder and madder and, you know, start going out there, start counting rounds and loading up stripper clips and just just waiting for them to start marching down through my hometown by God we're going to take them out and I found myself getting more angry and suddenly I noticed that more angry and more depressed being dragged down okay being literally dragged down right where Satan wants me right where Satan wants you so let's jump back here a few months okay things were going along pretty good even with you know the left trying to destroy the United States or trying to destroy the president of the United States and therefore gain back control um, and all that aside things were going pretty good and then all of a sudden we have this virus created by the Chinese um, as per you know the news and as per physically yeah it was created by the Chinese and then it escaped they let it loose they locked down their country but let everyone else leave spreading it all over the planet and the whole world goes on lockdown Okay, so that starts people getting upset. Folks, works pretty well. I've, I've got to commend the majority of people, um, even with some really stupid um, governmental uh, power grabs to try and keep a thumb on you. We, for the most part, we kept our heads pretty good. Even when people marched up in, uh, in Michigan, up to the governor's quarter, to basically let her say, to tell her, no, uh, -uh. you know, and other places. Even though those people were armed, cooler heads prevailed. You know, there was no violence. They, under the Constitution, under the Bill of Rights, legally, they did their duty. So things weren't quite amped up enough. People weren't amped up enough. And it was getting pretty bad, um, but things were starting to break loose, you know. Uh, people were starting to slowly kind of get things back together, and, and the president came out and flat out said, you know, they've, they've left, they've considered um, liquor stores and abortion clinics to be worthy of staying open, but they've closed churches and they've closed this and that. So the, so the president sat there and said, no, well, as of right now, these churches are open because people need to be able to 
pray. They need to be able to come together in community. And that is essential. That is far more essential than than abortion clinics and, and liquor stores. You know. Another thing, during the lockdown, all the things that would help people to get through it were closed. All the things that would help people to uh, to fall deeper into depression, to commit suicide, because suicide rates went through the roof. Alcoholism went through the roof because they took away hope by shutting down churches, by shutting down the ability for people to come together in, in the name of the Lord, in the name of, of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. So it drove people, that tension level, way up. But things are getting better. Churches open up, people starting things, folks are starting to be able to get ready to take a breath, okay? And that level's going to go down. And then we had law enforcement in Minnesota, Minneapolis, a leftist-run city that, uh, and it's funny because in the, in the United States, you go through the, the cities and the states that are run by the left, they are far more draconian on their people. They're the ones trying to keep that harder foot. Well, a cop, you know, with other cops staying around him, put that literally, in this case, not a foot but a knee, and killed the man, even though he was already handcuffed, subdued, face down, he died. Now, that law enforcement officer and the ones around him are being charged. Um, when the video went out, folks got rightly upset, and rightfully so. And they marched and protested in peaceful manners. But Satan wasn't done yet. Is that virus? In all honesty, what it really boils down to? Who created it? Who spread it? You got it, Satan. And that didn't get us where he wanted us. But we were still a tinderbox. So he created a spark. And spark was the death of that, of that gentleman. I know his first name is George. I can't remember his last name. <clears throat> but um, memory eternal. But uh, that was a spark and got people protesting. Well, that even really wasn't quite up to where, where Satan and Luciferians wanted it. So they sent in their minions. And there's video tape. They caught one guy trying to get the crowd to turn over a car, and the crowd turned on him. You know, But in Minneapolis, it was ripe and exploded. Uh, I watched a video from a uh, Catholic commentator who talked about how Minneapolis and St. Paul had been lost, about the history of the Catholic Church in that state, in that area, from its inception, and how it had always been. And I remember growing up that uh, Minnesota, Minneapolis, St. Paul, that was like, a, like one of the nicest places to be. The people there, the people in that part of the world, were always considered to be the nicest. They had the most most helpful mentality. I mean, they, those were good German and Poles and Slavs and Finnish farmers who uh, would give you the shirt off their back to help you out. And Satan took advantage of it. So he got people rioting. And then it spread from city to city to city. Now, in a lot of towns, folks, they banded together and they flat out guarded their areas. And that's good. That is good. They, they flat out and told them, said, you know, protest, fine. You break one window, we're coming after you. We're going to stop you. We're not going to let you do that. This, unfortunately, got some people killed. A retired police chief. You know, other law enforcement officers have been murdered. And, and I'm going to flat out say, if you kill somebody during these uh, riots during the, during these things. I mean, they started to be protests and then they are turned into by those little minions into riots and into violence. And if someone dies and someone dies at your hand, and you get away from you, you think you got away from it. 
the cops didn't catch you, no footage. Well, you haven't gotten away from it because God has seen what you have done. All right? My point is this. Don't let Satan drag you down. Get off of Facebook. Take a break for a week or two. Get off of, of YouTube. If you stay on YouTube, you know, I watch air gun videos right now. That's 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 one of my calm little get the get away from all the negativity. Get on videos of puppies or you know, Great Depression cooking or or hunting or something like that. But these these news outlets and um, and all the news outlets, um, whether it be leftist, Luciferian, you know, mainstream media or on the right, they're reporting the news, but in that they are they're really pushing that negative narrative. I, th I hate that word narrative, but they're pushing that negativeness. They're pushing that depression that Satan wants in you because he knows he can get you to snap. Turn it off. Put it down. Walk away from it for a while. Calm down. Watch a video on someone shooting tin cans or squirrel or rabbit hunting or or watch videos on how to grow, how to do your garden. Because right now is a good time for us to get out and do our gardens. Go mow your yard. Step away from the chalupa. All right? Because I know our Holy Father does not want this from us. You know, the end times, they're a lot closer than they were. And the way things are looking, it might be. We might very well be in those end times. Or they might be a thousand years from now. So, but live your life. Do not allow the Luciferians, do not let these satanic forces to seize control of you. Do not become a slave what they want you to do. You were born with a conscience. You were born with free will. And in this case, you were born with free will. You can choose not to follow, not to take the bait. Ignore the worm on the hook. And if he's got the hook in you, spit it out. Grab your Bible. If you if if they're not letting you get in into your church or go to your church or go to a church in your area, if you don't have a church, grab a Bible. Find a Bible. Sit down, read it, or just find a quiet corner in your backyard, uh, in your apartment, in the park, in the woods. You know, in a, in, a, in, a, in a hay barn, a hay loft, you know, in the corner of a pasture, wherever. Sit down in the shade and just talk to God. He is there. He will listen to you. And if you listen, pay attention, you will see He will answer you. Anyways, this is uh this, this is the old Cornish poacher, Samuel, Samuel Stamball, Keith Stamball, whichever name you wish to hear me by. In the Orthodox Church, I'm Samuel. Speaking to you from St. Columbus Celtic Orthodox Mission here in Robertson County, Kentucky. Y'all listen to what I've, I've said. Think about it. Feel it. Okay. Let all this negative hatred and depression that they're pushing on you, let it go. 
because believe me, I know how saddening it is. I've been I've been sick with it. It's been it's been breaking my heart. Let it go. Because by holding on to it, that's what's going to finally tear down this country, and that's what Satan wants. He wants the United States gone because we have been in his way. We've been in a thorn in his side since the 18th century. And he's wanted us gone. Just like the Luciferians want, want our current president gone. So, just let it go. And for folks like BLM, Black Lives Matter, and folks, other folks are screaming um, racism, 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 black people, white people, Hispanic people, all these different races, I say this, you are a liar. Because there's only one race. Because a little over 4,700 years ago, there was only one family that stepped off that boat. A family of eight people. A father, a mother, their three sons, and the three sons' wives. And we are all descended from them. So before you start thinking you want to hate somebody because they're lighter than you or darker than you or whatever than you, guess who's, guess who's prodding that on? That's right. Luciferians, Satan, the enemy. Because that is your that is your cousin. I'm not gonna say your brother, because they ain't from the same mother. But that is your cousin. That's still your family. So it's time for us all to chill out, sit down, get a twelve back, get that feller that that you last week wanting to pound the crap out of him because he didn't look like you and he's he screamed this and that. Sit down and have a beer. Or sit down and have a, a glass of iced tea or a cup of coffee or what have you. Pull out a cigar. Light up a stogie. Pack your pipe. Whatever. Kick back on the front porch. And start to talk. It's all we really need. All right, y'all. I'm going to call this one in because my iPad's about dead and this has run almost 18 minutes. But it was in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. This is uh, Samuel from uh, St. Clement's Celtic, Celtic Orthodox Mission in Kentucky. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. God bless.